Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Turkey. for the national team of Germany.
Hello and a warm welcome to live coverage of this Euro Under-19 Championships qualifier, the second round in Rubavets in Croatia at the Gradski Stadium. So it's Germany Under-19s against Turkey Under-19s, as Germany can no longer qualify for the Euro Under-19 Championships, which are held in Northern Ireland in July. So now they are playing for pride after narrowly losing their two matches so far against Croatia and Romania in unfortunate circumstances. So elite round group six has already been settled with Turkey topping the group and qualifying for the final tournament, having won both of their matches so far. So a couple of changes in the starting lineup for Germany under 19s as Gola gets a run out in goal. Drexler is back in the defence as Becker, Schultz and Marino make up a new midfield trio with Matza starting in the front line. So wholesale changes from Christian Werns to utilise the whole squad and give everyone an opportunity here. Well, Germany disappointed to bow out without topping the table and qualifying. But they have played well in the two matches so far, as they were unlucky, especially to lose 2-1 against Croatia, as Croatia scored two wonder goals against them, despite Matza scoring an equaliser. Hicinovic missing a penalty right at the end of that match as well, which would have made it 2-2. And then there was heartbreak against Romania as they lost 3-2 in time added on. Vucinovic with the first goal, equalising immediately after Romania took the lead. And then depends which source you believe, whether it was an own goal or Pucinovic himself who got the second equaliser. But then right at the death, Romania snatched the three points. So away we go then with Turkey taking the kickoff, all in red. It's the Germans in their home strip, kicking from left to right in this first half. As the captain Bischoff says, the team must learn from the setbacks that they've experienced so far here in Croatia. They'll be determined to bow out with pride intact today as Turkey have got off to a quick start. Gulazi here with an early corner. It was whipped towards the near post. It's half cleared. Launched back in by Turkey. As you can see, the confidence is flowing through them. The volley over the bar there, but no early test for Gola in goal. see if we can get some entertainment from this Germany under 19 performance today. As I mentioned, they have played well in the two matches so far without getting the results they deserve. Plenty of attacking prowess on show, particularly from the likes of Bischoff and Hicinovic. Marco also proving himself to be a rock at the back and Baum it's a real prospect at left back bombing up and down Zilnas gets the ball clear for Turkey where I'm looking for the flick on but it's straight into the run there of Schultz who is anchoring midfield by the looks of it Drexler, ball upfield. As Baum has switched over to this right-hand side for today. Here he is again, low ball in, and it's a very dangerous delivery. It went all the way through, and Yavos just managing to get it away. Ahead of the run there from Becker, arriving late in at the 
far post area. It's very promising from Germany in this third and final match for them in Croatia. Gola. Long ball down the line from Artum there. As there's a free kick picked up and an early take as well and it's into the side netting from Madsa. Really quick thinking there from Bischoff who won the free kick initially and saw the opportunity to take it immediately finding Madsa. But the Hertha Berlin man couldn't quite find the target but that was very snappy play from Germany. So they're just being instructed to press on the sidelines. Turkey away with the ball again up towards halfway. Well won by Marino. Only block tackle coming in. Greg Slap. Starting lineup for the opener against Croatia. Some slick play here from Germany in this opening five minutes. And the best chance of the game so far as well. Ertaj with the ball at feet, passes it to Sankaya. Arakan the Captain. Cross to Javos. Okay, again, under no pressure at the moment. That's this there coming from Marino. Isaac to Yavus. As Turkey got off to a lightning start against Croatia last time out. As Ingen Yildirim scored after five minutes, Uzun after ten. Match ending 2 1 in their favour. In the opener, they beat Romania. It took them rather longer to break down the Romanians. Gulasi in the 82nd minute finally scoring before Halil Uzdemir sealed it with the second in the 92nd minute. The Soikan Bajar's team can keep going for the 90 minutes. Completely blew away the Croatians in it was a very important match at the time. Either of those two teams could have topped the table. Becker just waiting for options here from this throw in on the left hand side. to Gola. Shorts just dropping into the back line from midfield. Giving the ball back for Gola. Now Tom, long ball up the field this time. As the offside flag is raised against Pecinovic going too early you could see Sankaya of Turkey appealing for offside immediately Arikan just exchanging passes there with Yilmaz Fidan Yes, yes, yes. 
A fairly quiet start from Turkey after that opening salvo in the first minute, winning a corner, getting a strike away. Since then, it's been all Germany with a little bit of possession for the table toppers. We hoping to make it three wins from three. Atom. Well, Wrighton with the interception there at left back. Playing in a more central position last time out. Justin Wings just trying his players out in a couple of different positions over the course of these three matches. Nino back to Gola again. Schultz, I think, enjoying just dropping back to help out in defence when Germany have the ball. That's a nice pass here for Atom to run on to. Couldn't quite thread it through in the end. The left back, but it has found its way through for Baum eventually. He tries to clip it across towards Pucinovic. It's well caught by Atash. Well into the tenth minute, it's still goalless. That best chance falling for Matza of Germany. Bischoff took a quick free kick. Managed to find him lurking at the far post. Looked for all the world as though he was just going to pick his spot, but in the end, lashed the ball into the side netting. Sides looking to get on with this as quickly as possible. Only a stoppage in the game so far. Now group six. I said at the start of the program, it's already been sorted out with Turkey finishing top. As Matsa feeds the ball across, it's a good stretch from Sankaya to get it away. Of course, there is still motivation to win this match for both teams. Germany looking for their first points on the board and Turkey looking to make it a perfect record. Three from three. And Yildirim trying to force the ball past the defender, couldn't beat him. Drexler. Amoako just pushing up into midfield for a while. Atom dropping back. It's more like a back three at the moment. Drexler, Schultz and Atom. Very fluid at the moment from Christian Verns' side. may cause more problems though for the Turkish defence. Popping it about nicely at the back here. Just advancing across the halfway line. Baum gained the outlet ball. That's a good tackle coming in on him from Yilmaz. Should be a corner. In fact, it's been given though as a goal kick. The French referee inside, Bastion Bichepi, incidentally, the man in the middle for today. Natash. <laughs> 
very patient play, Fidan. Only injecting a little bit of pace into this Turkish attack. And Rodo played just behind Yilmaz in the end. Had to retreat to get it. He's done well to carry the ball right into the corner. Baum was tracking him, just knocking it away. And Matza couldn't get past his man, Gezek. Bischoff then coming in with the important interception just outside his own box and then winning the free kick as well to relieve a little bit of pressure there. Atom. Put under pressure by Yildirim. Ball was initially intercepted, but Germany have won it back immediately. As Baum comes forward again. It's on the end of a deflected ball from Madso, who's continued his run. The ball across, and it's excellent defending in the end from Javus to get it out for the corner. Again, Germany threatening down that right hand side. is across to take this one it will be an outswinger then with that left boot it's coming up towards quarter of an hour played decent take as well it comes to the edge of the box and the strike over the bar Marino saw the opportunity for the snapshot just leaning back though sending it over the bar This has been a promising opening 15 minutes from the Germans. Turkish players are based in Germany, the likes of Yilmaz. He's a Freiburg under-19 player. Javus features for Duisburg. Some players on the bench also. Inanolu. So a Duisburg player, the under 19s. A confident play there from Bischoff. Dribbling across his own penalty area, then getting it back for his keeper. And then the long ball up towards Pacinovic is picked up by Fidan. At the moment, Turkey seem to have a, an outlet ball. Like Germany do on either side. They were stuck at the back at the moment with possession. was looking forward for the run of Yilmaz in the end deciding just to go back to Sankaya Gizik a little bit of a lull in the game here while Turkey keep possession finally a long ball forward from them and towards Bayram, who's barely touched it, and he doesn't really get a chance to there either. Good defending from Germany, but it's resulted in a throw in for Arikan. Right in the corner, gets the return ball. 
tries to get to the byline. It's a bit of a heavy touch. They want the corner, Turkey. They're not going to get it, though. Goller taking the goal kick quickly. Wexler deciding not to take a risk. Bring the ball into midfield. Pressure from Bayram. Artom is down the line again. Raids everyone in attack though. Rolling through for Ertash. Yeah. 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 Ah, poor touch there from Yilmaz. I think he's complaining he didn't get a call from his teammates. Maybe Matza can punish them. He rolls it across. Looking for the free kick, Germany. Play goes on with Bischoff in possession. Went down, looked at the referee. Nothing given. Turkey looking to attack quickly, but it's broken down. Germany recovering there, but more danger from the Germans so far in this opening 20 minutes. No attempts on target as yet from either side, but it's Germany with two shots to Turkey's one. The ball is lashed out of play there from Sankaya. Not hanging around. Rexler has to go all the way back to Schultz in his own half, but he is the only player for Germany. Not in the attacking half. Here he is again, right on halfway. Oh, Baum. He's the man too break down this Turkish defence. <laughs> Zappy passing but not really making much progress up the pitch at the moment, Germany. And it's been much the same problem for Turkey as well. As attractive as some of the passing has been, it's perhaps not been that incisive, particularly from the Turkish team. But then they will feel that it's job done as they top the group. Have qualified for the Euro Under-19 Championships in July. Disappointed not to get the ball from Becker. It's an easy enough pass. It's played out. That's a foul throw. A very strange one from Arakan. Got it all wrong. Gifting possession of the ball straight to Germany midway through the first half. around the corner. Yeah. Hey. Oako wrestling for it here and a little bit too much says the referee pulling him back for the free kick.
Schultz. And the ball here from Drexler. Up towards Atom. And that's a lovely ball around the corner. Germany could be in here, but the whistle goes as the flag is raised against Bischoff. Well, as soon as that ball went through towards Bischoff, Matza was on his bike towards the penalty area to get in there to receive the ball. Didn't get a chance in the end. There's the next long ball forward straight down the middle from Germany to Ertash. Hurricane was closed down there by two players. Did manage to find Byram, but again, not getting into the rhythm. As perhaps half a chance for Germany, just eludes Pacinovic in the end. As Yildirim has to drop into his own half to get possession of the ball. The front two at the moment for Turkey, just not in the game at all, Yildirim and Bayram. There's a handball in the centre of the park against Gulazi. Drexler. Now I'm just holding off his man, Yilmaz. Germany happy to go all the way back to Gola to keep possession. It's a Berlin man. Decent with the ball at his feet. Arikan. This time successful with the throw in, but he can't find Bayram. He was trying to turn his man, couldn't get there in time. Testing Yilmaz there with his control, but he chested it down well. And here he is trying to get the re return ball from Bayram and finds the attacker again. Flowing football here from Turkey as Arikan is tackled by Schultz. And in the end, it's not even a corner for Turkey. Well defended indeed. Or is it? It is a corner, sorry. That's what Turkey can do. That was great link-up play down the left-hand side. Well, Schultz coming across. He saw the danger early. Dealt with it and snuffed it out. And we see Gezek and Gulazi standing over this corner. 27th minute. They got up the sleeves here. Two. Fired in, volleyed clear. Almost vertical clearance in the end, but Baum does get it away up towards Pichinovic. He's all on his own, really. He can roll it out towards the left hand side. It's Becker. And the long ball. Headed up in the air here by Yilmaz, giving the chance here for Germany, which they've taken. It's Marino who could stroke it home. Well, really poor defending there from Yilmaz. It looked as though he had it under control. But he headed the ball straight to Marino here. Once he gets in, the goalkeeper... Ertaj has got very little chance of stopping that from point-blank range. And Germany can celebrate going ahead 
for the first time in these three matches in Croatia in the Euro Under-19 Championship qualifiers. And that is a great boost for the 28th minute. Turkey getting in a right mess there. Dealing with that long ball from Becker. In the end, it was a tidy little finish from Marina. Freiburg man. Getting the opening goal of the day for Germany. Well, here comes Madsen now. The tail's really up for Germany. All in and it's been dealt with slightly better this time by Turkey. Still can't get great distance on the clearance though. Although Bayram this time has done very well indeed. Playing the ball down the centre of the park. As the shot in the end came in from Gulazi, good pressure being shown. I think it was Baum who was tracking him. That's a combination of Baum and Schultz in the end. And with nearly half an hour on the clock here, that goal from Germany way well have just set this match ablaze here. A little bit of space again delivers a wicked ball in. And it's really good defending there from Sankaya to stretch and get it out. Can't fault the distribution there from Baum from the right hand side. And here he is again. Just the little knock on towards Bischoff from Matza. And back towards Matza. And again, Turkey under a lot of pressure, just hack the ball out of play. <laughs> Marino with the crossfield ball towards Atom. And the ball in, and the shot in the end. Didn't really get a hold of it, I think it was Madsa. And an easy one for Atash. In the Turkey goal. Yeah. Erika going down under pressure from Matza, but it was a fair challenge, says the referee. Is Marina right in the corner? Passing back for Baum. Germany visibly more confident having taken the lead here by one goal to nil through Marino. I have to say full value for their lead here. Finally getting a little bit of luck in front of goal that saluted them in Croatia so far. clearance this time from Ertaj up towards the halfway line and Germany winning the second ball Schultz Atom faced up there by Yildirim but Germany always seemed to have an extra man to pass two as we see a sliding challenge coming in there from Yilmaz will be really disappointed in the part he played 
in the opening goal in this match for Germany. Going by that piece of play, doesn't let it get to him. As Bischoff, it's a dangerous ball in. Madsa might get on the end of the second ball as it went loose. But in the end, it's Fidan who gets it away. Germany looking increasingly dangerous as this first half wears on. As I said at the start of the programme, just playing for pride here as Turkey will top the table. Germany out of the reckoning for qualification to the Euro under-19s. Still, they want to leave Croatia with at least three points under their belts. Christian Verns will be happy that his rotation policy has shown that everyone can make a real difference to this under-19 squad. The likes of Schultz here have made the step up to the starting lineup. who started the first game against Croatia dropped down to the bench against Romania back in the starting lineup now and on the score sheet as well got just over 10 minutes of this first half remaining Gola confident with both feet Off, losing his strength there against Arikan. He had to retreat a long way though. He's a little bit frustrated. He couldn't get a turn on his man there. I'm sure that he'll get further opportunities. As that ball's just gone out of play from Matza. inside by Atom. Atom gets it again, this time from Gola. Anuako. And that's a decent ball to try and open it up here for Germany. Drexler quickly forward to Bischoff. Bit of space here, but it's closed down quickly by Turkey. Gizek doing very well there. I think it was Matza who was in possession for. He could just turn and spray the ball out towards the right. Wasn't to be. A hold up play there from Bayer. There, just passing it towards the right hand side. And again, Yazi. You know, a heavy touch there from the keeper, Erta. She's got away with it though. Closing in was Pacinovic. Yet another interception there. Up towards Pichinovic. Laid off there. And here comes Baum. See if he can whip one in towards that far post again. Pichinovic was closing in. Instead, this is Bischoff.
Schultz. Germany confidently stroking it around the park now. We've been ahead for 10 minutes or so. It really has given them an enormous boost in this game. Makes you wonder what would have happened in the other games against Croatia and Romania if they'd have managed just to get their noses in front. But they are somehow always chasing the game against those two. At least in terms of the scoreline, the performance was pretty decent, being said. Vucinovic there was just stretching for the ball, couldn't keep to his feet. Natasha away. Six minutes to go in the first half. 1-0 to Germany. The goal coming from Marino. As Turkey here are looking for the equaliser. The cross is deflected out for a corner. Third corner for Turkey. And it's a short routine this time as well from Gulazi. Germany though alert to it. Certainly not caught napping. bit stop start at the moment coming towards the end of the first half in behind there for Pacinovic. Didn't quite have the pace to get there ahead of the defender. Marino. So trying a little pirouette on the sideline over there. Gets the throw in. a lovely turn from Marino and just slipping there I think as he tried to slide the ball through couldn't get enough on it turns into more of a prod in the end Germany trying to pin back Turkey Bischoff is he given a little shove over by Sankaya there no says the referee looked from this angle as though it was a foul as Amoako Stayed up as an auxiliary attacker. And Waka right in the face there of Gezik. Trying to force the error. In the end, Turkey winning the free kick through Yildirim. again for Turkey just to get the ball into the box from this dead ball from open play they haven't really managed to break down Germany at all other than in the opening minutes made up by Gezek and easily taken by the keeper Gola up 
facing Simon, who was between the sticks for the first two matches. over 90 seconds remaining of the first half and it's been entertaining so far and very positive from a German point of view as they lead by one goal to nil. Marino punishing slack defending from Yilmaz to roll the ball home for one nil on 28 minutes. Germany looking for more. Not finished there yet. Turkey who top the table have had to absorb a lot of pressure so far in the game also much changed in their starting lineup it's much more ragged than Germany Germany have looked slick with their passing at all Works its way back across for Baum, turning inside. It looked as though he fancied a crack at goal. Instead, he passes it to Marino. Atom, lovely little ball, and the effort there coming in from Madsa over the bar. That could be the final action of the first half. I don't think there's going to be any time added on. I think we'll see this. Goal kick from Ertash. And that will be just about that for the first period. Let's see what the fourth official says. does go on not sure where they've got the stoppages from there but obviously very diligent <laughs> Baum again here to take on Ihan it's forced into the corner Drexler Quick thinking there from Atom under a bit of pressure just to make the first touch on to his teammates as the halftime whistle does go. After a minute play, the halftime scoreline is 1 0 to Germany under 19s against Turkey. The goal coming from Marino on 28 minutes. Poor defending from Yilmaz. It gifted him the opportunity and he took it clinically, rolling it past Ertaj in goal. That's the only goal-scoring action of the first half so far. So join us in 15 minutes or so to see if Germany can increase their lead.
Welcome back to the second half of this Euro eight Under-19 Championship qualifier second round between Germany Under-19s and Turkey Under-19s. The halftime scoreline, very pleasing if you're a Germany fan. It is 1-0 to the Germans as Marino scored on 28 minutes, punishing a poor piece of defending from Turkey and Yilmaz in particular. General Germany have been in control of the game, but Turkey have shown on occasion what they can do. A couple of flashes, but it's been Germany with the lion's share of the possession and the shots. So nothing really to play for here other than pride for Germany, but they're doing themselves very proud indeed at halftime leading against Turkey, who will top the group and qualify for the championships in Northern Ireland in July. And it looks as though they're going to make a change in goal. As Bayram will be coming on for Ertash. And it's going to be a double switch as well with the number 10, Uzun, coming on for the other Bayram, I have to say, who started the match in attack. Abdurrahman didn't really get into the game at all. And I'll be hoping that Uzan can link up a little better with Yildirim, the number nine. Here that Germany have made no changes. Christian Wernsen happy with the performance from his boys in that first half, as well he might be with the 1 0 lead. Zuno will give them something different to think about. Number 10. Let's see if Germany can open up a cushion here early in this second half. Is Gola again. As you see there, Massa just running out of room in the end on this near side. Davos with the throw in. Turkey, well, I'm sure that they're very happy, to be honest, to be topping the group. That's Soykan Baja. Obviously not happy that his side losing at half time. Making that double substitution and like Christian Wurz using the squad at his disposal as well. Switching out the goalkeeper. The throw in. He's allowed to bounce twice, but Germany do get it away. Sankaya had some impressive defending in the first half to be alert to the German attack. As you see Bayram get his first clearance up the field. It's just helped on here in the box towards Yildirim. Back out to the right-hand side. And the shot does eventually come in, but it's over the bar. Couldn't quite control it there on the turn. I think it was Yildirim. Finally had the effort. In fact, it was a triple change with Ustamir also coming on for Gulasi. So, a change for the Turkish team. As it's played out by Vidan towards Yavuz. A bit of pressure there, Bayram. He's done well, though. 
attempt to get distance on it towards the halfway line. It's headed out by Atom. Long throw down the line from the Abus. As Yildirim is just caught there in the face, it would appear. It's the free kick. I think it was an accidental one more than anything there from Atom. Let's see what Uzun can do here. First opportunity to show off that left foot as it swung over. And the touch here and Germany just getting it away. It's sent back in and that's good brave goalkeeping from Golup. It was Ihan who had the original attempt, which was blocked on the edge of the box. <laughs> Coming up towards five minutes into the second half, and Turkey with an improved performance so far. Looking pretty bright with those three changes. Germany looking pretty patient. Of course, they've got that 1-0 lead to sit on. As Matza is being tugged back and eventually wins the free kick on the touchline. Fidan it was who had come out to deal with him. He's wrestling him to the ground in the end. Bischoff takes it short to the goal scorer, Marino. There's a lot more energy about the Turkish side now that Uzun is in there. As well as Uzdemir. As it's a stretching clearance there from Amoako. And the referee says he was caught there by Gezek. And it's the first yellow card of the game for the Turkish defensive midfielder. And sliding in, Amoako just over the top of the ball from Gezek. The referee not hesitating to dish out that yellow card. First hint of indiscipline, really, in this match. Atom. No ball. Look towards Marino and a lovely little touch for Becker. Back across the shot from Bischoff. Deflected, it could have gone absolutely anywhere. Instead, it's out to safety for Turkey. And the resulting corner to be taken here. It's Marino's gone across, just touching it quickly for Bischoff. Becker, Marino again to the corner of the box. Lovely ball in towards Atom. And didn't reach the tall defender. Now it's Germany's turn to put a little bit of pressure on here. Can't make it count here through Bischoff's in swinging corner. And it will be their third of the game. Referee just calling over Arto and Ihan. The pushing and shoving going on in that. Well, this corner could be taken. Signal goes up. The ball comes in. Made by Turkey as far as Baum. Straight back in. 
from the right back for the day. Shown his versatility playing on both sides during these three matches in Croatia. Excelling. Hoffenheim man looks quite the talent. As Uzun. Another chance to get the ball into the box here after a free kick. 54th minute. across and finally away by Matza. No one up there though for Germany to hold on to the ball. Instead it goes to Bayram. Goalkeeper coming a long way out to pick up possession. As Baum picks up the loose ball here. Tries to play in Pacinovic. Stretches. Can't find Bischoff. It's another niggly little free kick there, really. Given away by Bischoff. And it was who was caught. Oh, certainly Germany with a little bit more defending to do in this second half so far compared to the first. As the ball is hoisted forward. A very good take from Gola. Now a pace coming away of it is Becker. It's a Tomatsa. Keeps the ball intelligently for Amoako. Bow. Trying to take on his man. It's nicked away from him by Yilmaz. And that's a clever turn from Ustamir in the end, though. Good concentration from Drexler. And Germany have possession again. It looks as though it's just been knocked out of play, though, for a little bit of treatment, perhaps, which is required. Although it would seem that Schultz is OK to continue. Turkey lifting the ball back to Germany. Nice to see. Bischoff, deeper and deeper, try and direct things for his team. Oh, that's lovely skill from him as well. Keeps the ball, finding Artom who's caught late. Play goes on, but the referee will have made a mental note of that one. I think the yellow card might be coming back out again. As it's sprayed across to the far side. And the shooting opportunity perhaps for Marino for his second. In the end, he was closed down by a group of Turkish defenders. And as the ball is finally out of play. Zoom couldn't get there in time. The referee deciding not to book the Turkish player for the foul in the build-up to that chance. Mamatsa got the equaliser against Croatia in the first game. Amoako, quick feet shown by the defender as he breaks into the box. Attempt to cross on the right-hand side was Blocked in the end as Uzun tries to play the ball across and there's an appeal here for a handball. And it's been given as such as well. And the yellow card being produced as well for Schultz. He protests his innocence but immediately 
Gilderim saying it was a handball as the ball came across. Well, Uzun standing over it would probably be favourite to take, I would imagine. Will it be Gezek? It's going to be Uzun towards the edge of the area. We're seeing both sides of this German team this afternoon. In the first half, the attacking prowess, and in this second, they're defending. As Pucinovic there looked to run onto that ball, just couldn't quite beat the last man. Germany They've kept the ball as well have they Before the referee calls a halt so that gives the free kick to Turkey Approaching the hour mark here. Still 1-0 for Germany. The first half goal from Marino. The difference on 28 minutes. Turkey, though, really giving it their all to get the equaliser here. Despite that, Germany looking fairly comfortable. Really stretched at the moment. Gizek. He done forward for Yavuz. Up to Bayram now in goal. Yavuz it's immediately closed down there by Becker. Getting away of it, though, is Yilmaz, who tries to lift the ball over the top. Bit of a heavy touch there, and that allows Gola to come and claim. I think it was Ustamir who was trying to break forward there. Came on a sub at half-time. There he is again, out towards the left-hand side. Trying a turn. Snuffed out initially, but the ball comes back in. And is there a push in there? As the number 10 Uzun goes down. As it is, it's a penalty for Turkey by the looks of things. Well, the ball is whipped across here. It's a dangerous one. And the referee deciding that Marino, who scored the goal in the first half, has just Gone in a little too heavy there on the run with Uzun. And it means that Yildirim will have a big chance here to equalise for Turkey from the spot. As Matza is going to be withdrawn by the Germans. Ulrich coming on. Stuttgart attacker. But it will make little difference to Turkey. They will be focused Scoring this penalty through Yildirim. Can Gola make himself a hero here and keep the clean sheet? It was very difficult to see from our angle whether that really was a penalty, but all the Turkish players appealed immediately as Uzun went down. Yildirim here just waiting for the go-ahead to take this penalty. It all goes. It's the hesitation. 
And it's a brilliant stop by Goller. One-handed. Well, Yildirim there, it took him an age, seemingly, to take the spot kick. And I think that worked into the hands there of Goller, quite literally. A superb stop from the head to Berlin man. Just getting his hand up there to stop the ball crossing the line. And that means it remains Germany 1, Turkey 0. As Verns makes his second switch, it looks as though it's Baum who's gone off. And Gruger to come on. So fresh legs again for the Germans with just over 25 minutes to go and surviving a massive scare. As that penalty from Yildirim was saved, could easily be 1-1. Turkish side, though, continue to roar forwards here. Here is Yildirim, and he's denied again by Gola. Got the snapshot away, straight into the midriff of the German keeper. Replacing Simon for today's final match in Croatia. He was in net for the goals against Croatia and Romania. What a bit of a scuffed clearance there for once from Amoako. Straight to Yildirim. As this could be a long 25 minutes for the Germans. They really have got the bit between the teeth at the moment. I'm disappointed they saw that penalty saved as you see Yilmaz going off. Now for Turkey, plenty of changes all round. And it's Baz who is coming on. PSV Eindhoven attacker. Ilmaz will not want to look back on the goal for Germany very favourably at all. It's his mix-up which gifted the opportunity for Marino to tuck home. Norikan is just caught there by Bischoff. And again, it's Uzun and Gezik lining this one up in conversation. In the end, it's Gezik who will take. And it comes, it's a higher ball this time. And I think the keeper managed to get something on it, then it was headed away. And it's a high ball in again and well taken by Gola. Two high quality goalkeepers at this level for Germany. Simon and Gola. The ball is just nicked away there by Germany, but Turkey pick it up. A loose ball in the centre circle. The next cross and it just evades Yildirim. But they're starting to target him more and more now, the striker. Despite that penalty miss, he probably is their best hope of getting the equaliser, to be honest. It was a superb stop, though, from Gola. over the midway point of the second half into the final quarter of the game 
Germany at the moment holding on as there's surely a handball there. The Turkish player almost catching it. You know, yeah, a couple of laughs amongst the crowd as you could probably hear over the microphones at that incident. In the end, a free kick here for Gola. Clear. It's seen too much from Germany in an attacking sense for a while. To soak up a lot of pressure from the Turkish team. Doing it admirably at the moment. And very strong play there from Amawako against Yildirim. A fine turn from Gizek. Try get between the lines for Turkey. But they are forced back in the end all the way to Fidan. Yavuz. Fidan again. And Germany punishing a mistake in defense for Turkey in the first half. Germany, on the other hand, have been pretty much immaculate. That penalty being given away, the blot on the copybook. As is a Turkish player down, but Uzun continues on the right-hand side in the corner. And the ball is played out by Yavuz. It was Arakan went down. A little bit of a stoppage. Indeed, it is Arakan wearing a mask. It's got nothing to do with that. It looks to be an arm injury. We've got just less than 20 minutes remaining. by Atom and the free kick won there by Marino as it's leaning in a little too much for the referee's liking left-hand side. Decent looking ball as the attack builds here in the channel. Baz. Gezik there was thinking about the long ranger. He's in plenty of space in the end kept it simple. To clear by Germany. They need someone to put their foot on the ball as they lose it again in defensive midfield. Turkey winning the ball high up the pitch. It has to be said from open play, no real shots coming in from Turkey. Indeed, total attempts they've had. Only one more than Germany over the 72 minutes so far. Only one on target from their seven total attempts. One of the best opportunity is missed by Engin Yildirim. His penalty saved by Gola. It 
Seems that Turkey are lining up another substitution. Be their fifth and final one. It's Aziet, I believe it is, who's coming on. Coming on. I think for Arikan, who's had to give up the ghost after that arm injury. It's a like for like replacement. The time ticking down here for Germany. 16 minutes to go. And they still lead 1 0 through that Marino goal in the first half looking for the first points on the board in this final match in Croatia in elite group six now the Euro under 19 championships will take place without Germany and with Turkey Germany getting a tremendous boost here Leading against the qualifiers, as is perhaps a chance here. Becker breaking through, rolling the ball across, and it's just ahead of Pucinovic. I think he was eased out of it there by the defender. Baziet, that's his first action since he came on as sub. And potentially very important as well, but Germany just waiting there for their moment to pounce on the left-hand side. That just goes to show how close this match is now. Any mistake from Turkey. And Germany could easily make it 2-0 and get the cushion. With time running out in the game as well. Well, Turkey could easily be level, if not for the fantastic stop from Gola. From the penalty from Yildirim. As the back pass comes in and it's more good play from Gola. Bravely in there with the tackle on Yildirim at the edge of the box. Had to get that one right. The back pass just selling him slightly short. There's another opportunity here for Germany to come forward. The nod down comes in and hacked away by Sinkaya. Well, Ulrich, it was, did well on the left hand side initially. And now Germany have won themselves a free kick in the attacking half. Just starting to get a foothold in the game again. As Bischoff is down on his haunches. <laughs> Bischoff, it will be to take. Bumped in actually with power. Yeah, not really a test for the sub goalkeeper by her arm. Twelve minutes to go. Can Germany hold on for the three points? As the shot comes in and big appeals from the Turks there for a handball. I think the referee had a good view of it and decided there was no unnatural movement towards the ball. 
whistle has now gone. Let's have another look at it here. I think it was Artum. They're saying handballed it, but no chance of it as a Turkish player is down now. Needing treatment. It's Ihan. Of course, no VAR. This level. And you think that they may be having a good look at that one, but the referee satisfied there is no penalty. Let's one quick look at it. <laughs> Between Gilderim. And Amawako. Get underway with the restart from the drop ball. Becker is tapping it back here for Artum. As we're about to tick into the final 10 minutes, and Christian Verns here with very good game management, just letting his boys soak up the pressure. And well, he's still got couple of substitutions that he can make three more so far Ulrich coming on for Madsa and Gruger for Baum as Becker just has to drop back here turns away from Yildirim pass in midfield from Turkey but it's one back there by Fidan Ayavus and it's a very heavy one it's a little bit of a tired run there from the right back in fact just muttering to himself Ecker who has been full of energy this is the ball back here to Amoako. And it's a nice looking ball down the line into the corner here. And the goalkeeper has it to feet by Aram. He's giving it away though. And it's a decent looking run from Bischoff. Tried his luck there, and the ball was blocked at the near post by Bayram. Weaving little run, and then next piece of action for him an easy catch from that cross from the right hand side. Germany starting to get some joy again with the time ticking down. Eight and a half minutes to go. They lead 1 0. In fact, I'd say they look the more likely to score the next goal. In actual fact, Turkey passing up a massive opportunity with the missed penalty from Yildirim, or the penalty saved by Gola, I should say. This is knocked back across the Edge of the box for Atom. And it just couldn't quite be brought on board there by Becker. That was a shame. He could have made the turn past Fidan and been in on goal. I think some tired legs out there after three matches in six days for these two teams. And again there, I see the Yavos. They made an attempt at stopping the ball going out, but not quite the vitality that we saw earlier in the game. I think Christian Wurns will be reacting to that. See, Ihan is down again. Or is it just a little bit of cramp or is it a knee injury? This is the second time he's... Needed treatment. 
team have already made five changes. With seven minutes to go. The ice pack straight onto the knee. And it's in some pain. He's being helped to his feet, though. limping off. I'm not sure he's going to be able to continue. <laughs> well, he won't want to give it up just yet. Well, they're going to give him a more intensive bit of treatment now on the sidelines. He won't want to be down to 10 men for the remaining time with them chasing the game. Bayram in goal, being under the pressure. Well, Turkey are temporarily down to 10. Any rate, whistle blows. What's the referee seen here? A free kick by the looks of it, the way of Turkey. drop ball the team in red to continue playing my hand does come back on but he's not comfortable at all as germany go on the attack straight away the ball towards bischoff and another block there from byram well, bischoff getting into really good attacking positions now coming towards the end of the game four minutes to go plus stoppage time and i expect there'll be four or five minutes now due to that treatment for ihan Spishoff is across to take this corner decent take but it's again sarikaya who's away clipped across and another clearance from the number five, Yildirim, just unable to get past Schultz. Becker, out up. Becker has great skill there, just to take the ball past Bars. Well, they've done a really good job here. Germany they deserve the win even though they survived that scare of conceding the penalty which was eventually saved by Gola they've defended when they've had to they've really dug in deep in this second half and now they're getting a couple of opportunities of their own as I had bravely still continuing despite that knee injury but bringing down Ulrich it's Bischoff who feeds Ulrich around the corner again for Bischoff back to Ulrich lovely play and 2-0 it's a cracking goal indeed from Germany to finally get the cushion and it's Pacinovic once again on the score sheet a wonderful wonderful link up play between Bischoff and Ulrich I think it's Ulrich who gets the final touch on it not sure whether he really did flick it. He attempted to at least. But what is for certain is that Pacinovic again gets a goal. There were some doubts in the last match as to whether it got a double or not. Whether the second was an own goal. No doubts with this one. A clinical finish right into the corner for Germany 2, Turkey 0. With now two minutes left on the clock. 
that's surely the three points in the bag for Germany so they can go home with their heads held high at least beating the table toppers Turkey who qualified for the Euro under 19 championships this will be a real confidence boost for Christian Verns and his side finally a little bit of a rub of the green you might say which they didn't have in the opening two fixtures against Croatia and Romania but today deserving this win as we see a late attempt they're just trying to chip the keeper Bayram from all of 35 yards I think it was Bischoff who attempted it left footed why not going for the wonder goal As there are wide open spaces now for Germany to exploit. Here's Becker. Ulrich trying to thread it through. The ball rolled back across by Marino and somehow it ends up in the arms of the keeper Bayram. Well, Turkey are all over the place at the moment, chasing this game 2-0 down with time really running out. We're about to find out how much time added on we will have. But it surely will not be enough for Turkey to turn this around. Well, five minutes signalled, mostly due to that injury to Ihan. Not sure how happy he will be to see five minutes flashed up as he continues playing. really in this second half Germany doing well to soak up all that pressure and then in the last five to ten minutes they've been flying forward against a tiring Turkish defense of course their head coach Soykan Baja has thrown on a lot of attackers so there are gaps back there have to say Germany getting the opening goal on 28 minutes from Marino was the key to seemingly what is the victory here he pounced on the mistake from the Turkish defender Yilmaz slowing this down of course absolutely no panic well in control of this game Germany Pacinovic at least showing himself to be part of the goal machine during this stay in Croatia. German players certainly not as well, letting their heads down at all, despite the opening two losses. One against Romania, especially galling, with almost the last kick of the game to lose 3-2. We could have kept them in contention for the championships. As it is, it's Turkey who are going through despite this loss to Germany in the final game. Here come Turkey, perhaps looking for a late consolation goal. Ozdemir.
Jezik. Out here for Yavuz. I said earlier he was tiring, but that was a lovely turn from him. Again, though, Turkey running out of space, which is closed down by Germany. Bischoff just limping away. Just trying to run it off for this final 90 seconds or so of time added on. to the 95th minute then it looks as though it's going to be in the end a comfortable 2-0 victory for Germany Marino scoring the first just rolling home after Yilmaz got in a bit of a mix up himself gifting the ball to Marino eight yards out and it was an easy finish in the end for the midfielder it remained that way until half time and indeed over the hour mark when turkey were handed a penalty marino with a foul as far as the referee was concerned yildrim stepped up but he hesitated for too long and that gave Goller the opportunity to read what he was going to do and made the save as the full-time whistle blows, so Germany do win 2-0 as it was sealed only a couple of minutes sometime by Pacinovic. Lovely play involving link-up between Bischoff. And Ulrich. Pacinovic was played in and he finished clinically to make it 2-0. So Germany do head home with three points in the bag, at least against Turkey, who qualify for the Euro Under-19 Championships. A very good showing today from Germany and getting a little bit of the rub of the green, which was nice to see as well. But I will thank you for joining us for live coverage of that Under-19 match. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. And of course, happy Easter.